back of WNST, Towson, Baltimore, and WNST.net. We're in Miami Beach. Party in the city, the heat's on, all that stuff. The <laughs> yeah. Ravens are not here, but the uh, the 49ers are. Rob Woodson has uh, autographed this for Cord at Sport of Culture. Big thanks to our friends at Liberty Pure, as well as Raskin Global. Reality television, and I have a, uh, a new guest to the program and a, uh, a, a phone guest, uh, reality TV and sports reality TV and bringing things together. Jason Shaviko Shavi here, as well as The Ruck Life and Angela Ruck, race car driver. I, I, I can't wait to hear about the beginning of this, and I'm sorry, my wife has an ear infection. She's usually here helping me produce, but she always wanted to be a race car driver. So, you know, so now that I've got you on a program, she said, man, I can't believe we actually had a real race car car driver on female race car driver on how are you man I'm great. reality tv I how about know. that right? crazy right my life is insane right now. i've been told you're like running around with like kids and husbands and and buses no we're in 12 cities 12 days over 3,000 miles uh, my husband and i my big man over there two babies two nannies Nine people living on tour bus, guys. Wow. It's insane. And shooting television, apparently. And shooting some television. Yeah, the right. Brooklyn. Right. So, you, I guess where to begin with all this? Let's start with your reality of being a, a, someone that goes in cars at high rates of speed. Uh, always wanted to do this, like all of that stuff, uh, yeah, or yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, it's been in my family. My grandfather raced, my dad raced, and then my uncle, Daytona 500 winner in 1990, uh, who is still currently active in the sport. Just growing up around that, around motors, my whole life racing go karts. Started off at a young age. Go karts. Yeah, that's how all these kids Fast start out these days. Now. Yeah, like no, no little like little soap boxes, do, nothing like that, yeah, right? But do, do they have like like? Seatbelts and stuff? like No seatbelts, no. That's why I didn't think, right? That's no. why I'm asking about this. Yeah, all kind of open-wheeled, right? Low to the ground. I was doing national radio 20 years ago when Dale Earnhardt died. It was a weekend shift, and he died. And, like, I wasn't even going to be doing, like, NASCAR or anything, and I'm obviously not the biggest gearhead in the world, uh, but I wound up doing, like, Hans Device Radio for oh, learning yeah. all of this incredible stuff yeah. about safety and... Except Obviously, your husband likes you, you know. Yeah, Sa I hope safety's he does. at the heart of all of this. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, eh, he's just a little. <laughs> well, I mean, look, if safe were the most important thing in your life, if that were at the hierarchy yeah. of your needs, you wouldn't do this. It's exactly. like football. You wouldn't do that. But for you, s safety, and where has it come? I mean, obviously, NASCAR has made these cars extremely safe. So, I mean, you're not seeing people dying. I hate to say the word dying, uh, but dying sure. like they used to back in the early, you know, 90s. Right. Um, How many crashes have you been in? I've been in a few. Last uh, last year, I hit the wall going probably like 185 in Texas. It was pretty hard. How did yeah. that feel? But you know, again, you're so safe. I mean, I hit my jaw kind of funny, but it just it just depends on how you're holding the wheel and what weird movement you're doing. You know, worst case, you may have she a, talks about it all like a like rib like or something nothing. broken. No big deal. Um, <laughs> but again, you, you can't worry. You don't worry about those things getting in these fast cars. That's the least of our worries. Really? Yeah. What's your What's your biggest worry when you get in? Not winning. Not being fast enough. You know. But for, but other concerns you have on on a, as as the flag drop you go what, in your mind what, what's because things are moving very very fast yeah I'm sure just, you have a I'm not going Dr Melfi on you but like just, I'm trying I to mean go Dr. most Melfi of the time is not lose the draft stay with these guys and don't fall back that's usually what my, what's in my head you know I I'm praying to God that the guys gave me a fast piece that I can compete with you know. Because it is on them a little bit too. So, how do you know if you have a fast piece? So, you twenty laps in, thirty. Yeah, leaders, I'd say like about twenty laps in, you're going to kind of know what's what. Whether I'm you need to come like in for a pit stop. Talking about right? <laughs> I was yeah, say, you're you're, you're faking good. it really well right now. <laughs> <laughs> Winning her so you know, over. you know yeah. a little bit. Well, I've done Don't this discount yourself, buddy. I can. I always say I can ask the dumbest questions to the smartest people. You're supposed to know more about it than me. That's this why you true. drive the car. This is true. It is my profession. Well, and, and then there's someone that's trying to present this. Give me a little background on reality TV. Last time you and I got together, I think you were doing Calipari things, right? That's right. Inside Everything's the except for the Another bags Facebook of money, show. right? <laughs> <laughs> no bags of money. Wow. What are you talking about, bags of money? That's good, right? I love it. I yeah. Love it. It, was pretty good. it was very subtle in. how you yeah. worked yeah. that in there. I did them. comedy in my, my previous existence. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so this show came about, uh, I've known Mike and Ange for about 12 years now. And Angela, she's kind of done a little racing here and there, but she's kind of put her racing on hold to help Mike raise his family and his kids and help him support him in his career. They called me about a year ago right after I got done with uh, the Inside the Madness, the John Calipari show, and uh, they said, look, Angela's taking her career, you know, by her own reins now. She's selling off some stuff, and she's going to go back full-time in the NASCAR racing. 
And if that wasn't kind of a cool enough story, you know, at mid thirties, because usually women now are you're not mid thirties. I know I'm old. old. God, why do you oh, say I how old I am? That. Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> Well, I, I like I to said think mid. of it as experience, but I don't feel old. So that should—that's really what matters. I don't feel old, and I try and take care of myself. So, so on top of trying to go back racing, she's like, "Oh yeah, by the way, I want to adopt babies." I'm like, "So, are you gonna adopt the baby and then race, or race adopt?" She's like, "No, I want to do it all." I'm like, "At the same time?" She's like, "Yes." I'm like, "That's a show. That's a show we can produce." And so uh, we started documenting things and telling the story, and I think fans will get a real you know, behind the scenes feel of she looks like, you know, she's a badass right now, very strong woman, but you know, you see some real ups and downs with her through this adoption, you know, where she's promised a baby it doesn't come and breaking down. Well, give me a little background on that. I was adopted, but I oh, you it, were. Yeah, and if yeah so for for you trying to adopt at this point, what's the mechanism that makes that work? I mean it's definitely tough, you know. We obviously you know, we hunted down a whole bunch of agencies. We had about four agencies working for us and you know Domestically, internationally all all no, all here in the States. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um and so you basically just put your profile to all these birth moms and they have to choose you in the end. So if your profile looks good on paper, you know, um, then they call you, you have like a little conversation on the phone, then you meet them in person and then you build a relationship. Um, and then the hope is in the end that they do choose you. And most of the time, you know, I like to say in the very beginning, a lot of families did pick us and I was like, oh my God, this is easy, right? And I told my husband, like, you watch, we're like 10, br- 10 babies right off the bat and Mike's like, yeah, it doesn't work like that. Sure enough, we had like four birth moms, like, yes, yes, yes. And I kind of got my hopes up, I, which, you know, I, I should never have in this right. scenario, which I was told, um, because we did have a lot of failed adoptions and people just, a lot of these birth moms run the system. A lot of these, you know, they promise you, you can meet them, you know, have these, you know, you, they feel like family to you. And in the end, it's like we'd show up for an adoption uh, the day, you know, she was having a C-section and she no-showed. Yeah, and it, and it takes a ton of money to do this, you know, right, and it's sure. just raising awareness on adoption. It's just, it is hard, you know, and the funding that it takes to do this is insane. I don't know how the average family can afford it, you know. So what's your outcome now? Where are you here and now? So now we have two babies. All right. Two babies, 10 months and two months. Um, racing NASCAR, You're racing a, a full season. two-month-old right now? Yeah, crazy. On the bus with us. We have two, yeah. That's wild. <laughs> On two or it's crazy. Right. Are you getting any sleep at all? <laughs> no. Oh my gosh! What is sleep? It has been <laughs> right. The past few weeks have been tricky. Let's just put it that what's way. What's racing schedule like right now? What, what's your start what's out your Daytona, life? and okay. then we run the whole. We have the whole year, whole season, twenty three races this year. And you're the with circuit. them. How much of this? We document everything. So yeah. the first season is expected to do so well. Premiere is February fourth, but we've already gotten an order to start producing more. So we'll continue to follow them, and um, hopefully the first season does well and. Second season will be right after that. Next year, you come follow me, watch me do Let's sports do radio, it, and talk to people. There doing you this go. Stuff, you don't know? just talk, man. We can we can create a show around you. I'm telling you. We can I do think it. Be <laughs> Please don't tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> would I get to say what I really think all the time? All the time. That's what's so but great about it. People would watch that ish. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> this guy does all the time. <laughs> Her husband, one of the funniest guys I've ever met in my life, has zero filter. That's why we're we're selective on which interviews we bring him on. I was gonna say that's why he <laughs> wasn't yeah, invited over to the table. Yeah, he's really special over there. Mm-hmm. So he's he's quite a character. Well, I'll tell you what, the uh, the Ruck Life premieres February 4th on Facebook Watch. Uh, it's Facebook Watch's third sports team reality series uh, on the heels of the Calipari. There was no bag money, that was just my joke. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jason Shaviko here, as well as Angela. Good luck with the programming. Good luck with babies. And I mean, I'm my wife's at home right now. Like, get me the popcorn. I want to <laughs> see this woman raise these kids, you know. So uh, and win races. So we'll be watching as well. Yeah, thanks at so much. At some point, we don't have time now, but we're actually traveling around with a couple go karts. So if you find the time this week in Miami and you want a challenge to a race, we can probably set something up. I'm just saying. We could probably make that happen. Yeah, I just want like a big wheel like the kid had in the shiny. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like I had. Of course I haven't you do. rode the big wheel in a while. That's more my speed. Stick to that. Right? My wife is a Harley ride. You know, my oh, wife's a little cool. bit more yeah. of a hill charger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love bikes. She, um, we were at one of these charity things a couple years ago. And this is, my wife said cancer twice. She's, she's a survivor. She's good. She had oh, comes but before that, we were at this charity thing and. I was the MC, and they were doing like the this, the auction thing, and it was the Top Gun experience, where like you go, you know, yeah. you know, oh, yeah. do all that. Oh no! And <laughs> I, I've I've been at a million of these auctions, and she had her little, she was in. She was like, got a bonus. Like, no, she was like, fifteen hundred. I'm in. Yep, <laughs> I'm in. You know, and she but she didn't win. 
But then they came over and said, you know, if you really want to do this. And so, so the punchline is this. She's had cancer twice. She survived twice. It's great. She wanted to go to Hershey Park this summer. So like, we're going to go to oh, Hershey yeah. Park, right? We got the Fast Pass. It was, it was a holiday weekend. She got on, like, four roller coasters and, like, lost her soup. <laughs> Oh, she was gosh. sick as a dog, like <laughs> tossed around all day. And I'm like, it's a good thing we didn't good do the thing. top, the top so gun thing. As much right. as she wants to like now go to like Charlotte and do that four turns, do like racing experience. Well, all bring that fun her stuff. to a race hey. instead of doing it. Bring her to one of Angela's yeah, you races. Should. Sit on the pit box. She can. Watch Is there the a thing where thing? like you throw? Some jack wagon like me in the back seat with my old lady and run us around the track, scare the hell out of us. I'm sure we, we, we get can that make done. That happen. Absolutely. Oh, there you go. If you can handle it, that <laughs> is. Oh no, I got <laughs> this on film. You're in so, you are in so deep now. <laughs> I'm not. You're not getting out of this. You know. No. You know what, Jen? Take we your sister. Your sister would love to do this with. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Does that work? That works. All we'll right. take it. You got a fast car. I got a t- no, no. You got a fast Stun car. Sil- uncomfortable yeah. silence. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, got a fast car. I don't know, man. I, I, it would all be all for me to get on ninety five and go to Aventura with you. Oh, there you go. Do you tell her how to drive when you're in the back seat? No, he's no, like, he dude, no, 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 no. no. My, my wife and I, all we do is <laughs> bitch because she eyes drives. When she's driving. And I'm like, you're going too fast. You're going too fast. You're going too fast. Does he say you're going too fast? No, it drives him crazy because I can mo- maneuver into any spot with no room. He's like, oh, Angie, you know. How That's long have you videoed the two of them being married? Not knowing them a little bit, because you already called mm. Ange, like you know yeah. them, right? <laughs> yeah. But how long have you been like with them where you're like the tripod in the marriage now? Uh, probably for the last 14 months. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. What's the thing they argue about the most? Uh, with my Ange, wife and I, it's Ange no wants doubt. wants everything. It's Ange wants the best of every, the best trucks, the best Well, she's on the cars, best sports the radio best, show. Every, the best sports radio That's station. That's right. I mean, what's and wrong so with wanting the best of everything? This, this is, and I feel bad because Mike's my buddy, but usually, you know, in sports, the guy's the one doing the thing and the, the woman's the one, you know, in the motorhome with the kids. And here, he's putting on baby Bajorns or whatever the tr- contraptions are. That. Trying Bjorn. to hold babies, <laughs> walk dogs. Bjorn. This guy's looking in RV lots <laughs> while she's working, and he's trying to find, like, mommy and me dates. All I'm trying to do is get my wife to slow down <laughs> when right. she drives, and this isn't going to help. <laughs> is you, you I'm have, sorry. You've, you, you, you've come to destroy me. All right, the uh, series premieres on Facebook Watch. Easy to do Facebook Watch, right? Absolutely, just like before I log I on to Facebook. Facebook. What's your Facebook? It's free. Yeah, okay. It's free. Sign on. It's free. Okay. Go in the search bar, The Rook Life, follow, like, and you get everything. For free. And the cars go fast. Simple. Cars goes fast. That's right. A lot Very of giveaways. Cool. All right. Well, yep. well I, I like you, and I already have known you a little. It's nice to meet you Make finally. it out to a race. Fa- face-to-face on Facebook. Yeah, you're going to make it out to a race? It's too loud for me. Too loud. Oh, come I went on. to Dover. Oh, and stuff. I went to Dover a long time Dover ago. And, and you know what? I Because th- I had all the race car drivers on, and my producer at the time was like, vroom, vroom, we'll go down, we'll do a monster mile, we'll go down to Dover. <laughs> and I went down to Dover, <laughs> and like... The car just went. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Spent and more I, time in the casino. I, I thought it was yeah. awesome <laughs> how how colorful it was and how fast it was. I didn't love how loud it was, and I didn't have like the little heads. I wear heads oh, for a living. Those. Like right. I didn't really want to like. That's so a I, must. Yeah, like balance. yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's like it was kind of like when I watch rugby. I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> like cricket. When they <laughs> oh, cricket, no. you ever watch cricket? <laughs> no. You ever see with the wicked they throw the ball? Right. Yes, I don't, I, what the I, hell's don't, going I don't on. understand that at all. So when I don't understand squash, I don't I don't know. I right. don't know what's happening. Yeah. So with the the race, it was like We can get you there with now the race. Now who's then. who's winning? We can get you there. We'll we'll put you a headset on, you sit on the box. You sit on the pit box, you have a different experience. Yeah, it's a different experience. You're kind I mean, of into a jerk, okay? This is like twenty seven Super Bowls. I'm I'm old. He gives me the old boomer nonsense all the right. time. I haven't figured lacrosse out yet. I don't know that I'm going to be a NASCAR fan, but I can stand an admiration of the speed. You can be an Angela Rook fan. There you go. And a Rook Life fan. That's enough said. We had the IRL in Baltimore going through the city. Danica Patrick came Mm -hmm. in. We did all of that stuff, and we built it. It it created traffic for like six weeks in front of my house. (laughs) I I only. He's bitter about some things. He is. He is. It only lasted a couple of years. I fully supported it. I just wanted more people to come. 
I got you. You know, yeah. that's all. Yeah. And that was really loud. Right. Our cat did not like that yeah. at all. Oh, poor cat. Yeah, it's poor all right, though. Cat. I mean, yeah, yeah, she survived, and it went okay. But but I, I really have incredible respect for what you all do, and um, I just wish I knew who was winning when I was at the race. That's all. Yeah, no, all it right. makes sense. I get it. Let's put my wife in the back seat, scared the hell out of her. <laughs> no. We'll do it. It's done. Same as she does to me all the time. <laughs> right? I love it. I the love Rock it. Life Facebook Watch. Make sure you're checking that out. You got any questions? You're done. You're no, just, I'm good. You're just here to make fun of me. I was going to say, talk a lot. I'm I know. Chime in a, a lot bit of here and there. Yeah. You're just here to make fun of me. That's yeah, all it's you know. It makes sense. You yeah, got the Calipari bag money. You guys have a good, money, good, good relationship no. between the two It's okay. No. It's okay? No. No? It's fine. Well, it's early in the week, but the end of the week. Yeah, by, the week. by Thursday or Friday. So here's yeah. the real question. You guys gotten in any trouble down here in Miami? Not yet. Not yet? Which is surprising. I'm okay. the kind of trouble you want to be in. All right. There you go. <laughs> Buy a Toyota.com audio vault. there 24 hours a day. That's a Brian Adams song. I just throw that stuff out. Somebody's like, oh, yeah, it's a Brian Adams song. I'm getting loopy. It's been a long day. We're in Miami Beach. We are WNST.net, AM 1570, WNST Towson, Baltimore. We never stop talking. Baltimore sports.